as my disease progressed um, and I was unable to go to work, I was for many years a family law and workplace mediator. But of course, and I did it in a wheelchair for a while, I'd, um, but then the energy output was too much and trying to deal with, you know, property settlements and people who hated each other and, you know, so um, that was when I started thinking about what can I do that I can do in a wheelchair and with the small amounts of energy I've got and I thought maybe I can write write a book and uh, so I sort of sat with that for a while and then decided I'd um, start plotting and sat down with a friend and, and decided I'd write um, a historical romance and because that gave me research. I wanted to be intellectually stimulating, so I was able to do lots of research into history and so and sit at I had my computer at a you know set up so I could use it. And I have a voice recognition program so I speak to it and that works really well and um so I wrote my book, which will never see the light of day, <laughs> that one. <laughs> and um, then I just kept going. It was something I could do in my own time. It was really fulfilling. It was a creative, artistic endeavor. And, and I've now written four books and I'm halfway through my fifth. And it's something I can just just do in my own time but feel like I'm still achieving something and when I wrote the first book that um, I made every mistake a writer makes when I realized I knew so little I, um, I joined a, a writers network and it was a national organization but it actually had members internationally. And so I found that I not only was being given so much um, encouragement, support and help with writing from more experienced writers, but I also had this huge social network of wonderful people that I never would have met or had in my life. And I found I was writing and uh, emailing um, people in America. I've got now two really good friends over there. I had a friend in France. I had friends in the UK, um, one in Germany. So they were all part of this extended network. And had so much information. I was given books to read on the craft of writing. I was um, steered towards really good writing courses, all of which I could do online. So I didn't actually have to even leave my room to gain this knowledge and, and to also have the um, what would you call it, the sisterhood of writers, other female writers. And I found I had a whole world in that room, in fact a whole international world, that I was able to um, draw and enrich myself from. And yeah, I it actually replaced the external world I'd thought I couldn't do without. Yeah, it's easy to get depressed when you think, oh, how long till I won't be able to do this? How long till, you know, I can't turn over in bed or... And then I 
pull back and I think where I am now, I could never have um, imagined how that would be back in the past, but it's okay and I've been helped to be where I am. I trust that there will be more things that will enrich me when the things I'm doing now aren't, may not be possible. And I think I'll just handle it when the time comes. I'll just be here now and all that's all you can ever manage is what's in front of you right now. And that's for me the most important thing.